What's going on my fellow residents, it's me Frozen Cavern, and today we're going to continue through our journey through Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In the last episode, we went into Halloween Town and discovered Christmas Town. Don't know why it wasn't in one, but in this episode, we're going to go down and save Santa. Yeah, the first time we meet him, immediately we have to save him from Oogie Boogie. So, yay! Maleficent isn't really here anymore as you discovered from last episode, and I just saw like a train up there. Like on the mountain. I saw it roll past. I might have to, like edit it so like you can see it but there was a train up there I wonder if it'll show again because I've never oh there it is like there's a track up there like I've never seen that before it's actually cool I don't think the train will actually roll by but yeah I'm probably gonna have to edit that in unfortunately but I've never noticed that before like I'm telling you you can play a game so many times but there's always at least one thing you'll never notice about it with how many times you played it because the first time, like, I got, like, this far in the game was, like, uh, on the PS3 version, so, oh my goodness, stop hitting me. But, again, first time I... <sighs> I did not want to do that, but that took forever. Anyways, uh, the first time that I've gotten this far in the game was on my PS3, which was 2015? Wait, 1.5 was 13, I believe, so 2014, if I'm correct. I'm probably not. <laughs> I don't know why I don't remember this, though. That's assuming that you would know that she was there. You and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little sidekicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. And why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Santa Claus. Lovely how he could just run away. Okay, one, it's kind of nice how they show you how that works before you actually get into the fight. And, uh, two, this fight can either be really fun or really annoying. Because it can get out of hand, well, out of control, ow, very quickly. It indeed can. Uh, but for right now, we have to use this, uh, reaction command to knock these boxes up into the, uh, carrier, I guess. I don't know what it's actually called. To knock Oogie down. And we need a few more. My goodness, get out of there. There you go. Ow. Thank you. But, yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. And as you progress through the fight, he'll have more uh, attacks. I can't attack him while he's like... Well, I can't attack him. It's just that he doesn't do damage. But, as you progress through the fight, he'll get more and more attacks. And... It'll change more things, which is why this fight can get pretty chaotic. And also, this glove is one of the most annoying things in the world, as well as some of the heartless that you can get in this fight. Because, you know, the wind ones when you're in a very, very tight corridor, that's nice. Okay. Uh, move out the way. Alright. I'm handling this well for now. For now. <laughs> Uh, I would like experience, but I also kind of need to get over there, so. Okay. 
I had to make sure I went out on the uh, correct side. Okay, the next wave? Yeah, the next waiver. Maybe even box that I throw down should do it. Alright, get me over to that box. Okay, there we go. Get him, no. Oh, my partners are dead. All my friends are dead. Oh, there's a sticker up there, but I kind of can't get it right now. Because we're... Oh, there's two of them up there. That's nice. Alright, let me just get you so you're not in the way. And unfortunately, our party members don't exactly know how to jump, so every time they'll pretty much get hit by that. And what I mean by that is the spike uh, at the end of the treadmill. Hmm. Okay, so apparently the... Uh, oh, I wanted to go into the thing. But apparently the obstacles that Oogie set up count as you killing them, which gives you experience. So that's nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, I want to get over that or he can just move. Okay. No, stop. Okay. There we go. Goodness, that took longer than it needed to. And now he has a thunder move. That's nice, except not really. I guess it can really get in the way. Also, if you haven't noticed, the uh, treadmill has gotten faster. I think it even goes faster after this point. My goodness, okay, so now he's moving over. Oh, of course, you're just gonna put that down, okay. Yeah, this is another reason why I can get out of hand very easily. You have to switch between the treadmills, you have to dodge the lightning while also trying to... And you could just get carried like that! That doesn't normally happen too often, but it can still happen. You have to dodge this stupid fist that does a lot of damage, you have to get these boxes up into the thing. I went into the wrong one. And he didn't move over. Yay. There we go. But yeah, there's so much stuff in this fight. So it's either really fun or really annoying. Like I said. And the fact that you could just get carried away by the lightning like I did before. Yay. Ow. Donald's dead. That's nice. Okay, finally. Get him. Hopefully this other Heartless next to me won't do anything too much. Thankfully my air attacks are- <gasps> I can kill him now! Yes, okay! <laughs> I was very worried that the Heartless would actually uh, get me. I didn't think I was- I didn't think he was uh, that low on health. It's kind of surprising. But yeah, party members aren't exactly very helpful in that fight. Except for when they can heal you. Now we actually step on him, uh, step on him, even though he kind of died in the first game and he was still brought back, so not like that actually matters. Perfect. I'd better get down to business. Not the right world for that. Yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Dad. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Sandy Claus. Uh, listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. Don't even think about taking over for me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, 
You love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Knight of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Which is kind of the point of the first game. I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Our names better be on the nice list, considering we just saved you and Christmas. And without us, Christmas wouldn't even be happening right now. too festive for our Halloween needs. Okay, to be honest, I kind of don't like how the key, uh, the keyhole opens here either. It's the, it's the costume. This. Which, keep in mind, if that costume was not made, then this wouldn't be here. We better get going. Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus? Oh yeah. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I Is he on the naughty list too, considering he told him that? Find, Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him. I feel like that's a lie because I said last episode that Santa has incredible power when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts series or, well, yeah, Kingdom Hearts series because he's able to know where everyone is or what everyone's doing at any point in time because of the fact that he knew that Sora once said that a specific amount of time ago that there were, blah, blah, that he said that uh, he did not believe in Santa Claus and he knew the person who told him that he did not believe in Santa Claus. So it's like, how, how are you not able to find Riku? He should easily be able to do that, but no, we have to have, you know, story reasons. We have to have plot. Let's go. So yeah. But I'm telling you, he, Santa can be a very powerful person in Kingdom Hearts. Unfortunately, he might not be in Kingdom Hearts 3, so. But like, imagine how he, Again, he's pretty much an omniscient force that's able to see everything in the universe, keep in mind, because Sora's from a different world and Riku, and then Donald and Goofy are also on the list. It's not just people in that world specifically. So he can see everyone within the universe, and then he has to also travel to said people in the universe. So it's a matter of how does he do that? Does he do that with a reindeer, or does he have his own gummy ship? Which would also mean that he knows about the outside world, considering the fact that he has these other people on his list. Like, Santa could pretty much be Yen Sid, and that's actually crazy to me. I really want Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring something up like that, because it just amazes me. Because I never ever thought about it until now. But Santa just has all this power and it's never really used all that much. He only has that much power if you think about it. You know, I might actually make a video on that. 
I, I, I actually see myself doing a video on that. I probably will, actually. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to kill that thing. Yeah, that's gonna be ship route. It... I think I'm supposed to be doing at least one other one first, and that's the one to Atlantica, which I'll probably do after this, but it's not like that matters anyways, but... Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get as many, uh... dead that I want to, and I'm not gonna be... Ah, uh, I'm not... I can't speak. I'm not going to be able to get as many bonus items as I would like. But, eh, it's, it's fine. By the way, you guys can probably hear me button mashing maybe a little bit. Not entirely sure. Not like it matters too much anyways. Because it's usually going to be like a pretty, uh, like soft or, yeah, soft, not small. Soft sound. Also, this guy's annoying to fight sometimes. And I think there's two of them throughout this? I forget. Alright, come on, die already. Or teleport away. I remember this segment would lag so much on the PS3 version. It was actually sad. Alright, let's see if I can kill this thing. I might be able to. But most of the time, if you just stand still, you shouldn't really be hit by too much. Hopefully. Okay, well maybe here I would have to spin, but... Oh, goodness. And stay in the middle there and you'll most more than likely be fine. Oh goodness, die already. You're probably not going to though. Ow. By the way, I remember I had a friend who had a bunch of trouble going through here, but he kept choosing the same gummy ship. The, like, the starter gummy ship that you got at the beginning of the game. I don't know why he didn't notice that he did that, but my goodness, after he switched to another gummy ship, did it first try. Because these gummy ship missions are not hard, honestly, they aren't. Like, when you have to do, like, the extra, uh, stuff for, like, the trophies and whatnot, they can get fairly difficult, but aside from that, they're not really, uh, hard at all. Alright, let's go to Splash Island, but we're not actually going to Atlantica, and the reason for that is, uh, Atlantica has, like, different episodes, similar to how Winnie the Pooh does. So... I'm gonna try and do that all in one episode because when it comes to the Winnie the Pooh world you have to get books and then uh, when it comes to Atlantica there's like specific abilities or whatever that you have to get before you can uh, progress. Well abilities and magic spells. I think it's more magic spells than anything else but yeah you have to get to a certain point in the game before you can actually like go there. Well, I guess the Winnie the Pooh world actually counts towards that, too, because you need to get the uh, chess in certain worlds, so... Makes sense. How many of those do we have, by the way? I remember getting one from Disney uh, Castle. Uh, there's one in the next world that we're going to be going to. I don't think I got one in Agrabah, but I think there is one in Agrabah somewhere. Not entirely sure on that. Uh... There's probably one in Hollow Bastion, given how big that world is. I wouldn't be surprised. Um... I forget how many pages there are. I think there's like five, maybe? I honestly don't remember. I remember having to look it up, but I don't... That might have actually been for Kingdom Hearts 1. I'm not... Com yeah, it was for Kingdom Hearts 1, because I was searching for extra stuff in that playthrough. I had like a whole episode dedicated to that. It might have been two episodes actually, but yeah, that's another let's play. And if you want to view that, you can. Kind of don't know why you're viewing this one if you haven't viewed the first one yet, but eh, your decision. Just keep in mind, I'm going to be talking about any spoilers before this game, and there, well, chronologically, any spoilers before this game, and then I'll mention something about. Uh, games further down in the timeline, if need be. But, I'll do my best to try and avoid that. Because even though I've played this game, doesn't mean everyone has. So, gotta be cautious about that. Which is definitely one thing that, uh, it makes me struggle to do commentary sometimes, because it's like, I really want to talk about this, but if I do, it's going to be a spoiler, because that that's kind of what happened in the, uh, Timeless River world, where I 
like slipped up and was saying that uh the mickey in there and was talking about how he's not from the future or whatever and i'm like uh <laughs> i pretended to have a brain fart there but it was like just pretend i didn't say anything <laughs> it's like oh goodness i think that's really the only time where i've ever actually done that too which sucks but eh, everyone has their slip ups This gummy ship is long. The one for the next world that we're actually going to wasn't as long. Oh well, as I say that it ends. Yay. Alright, this episode is actually going to be a lot shorter than uh, usual because I, I have the episodes to be at least 25 minutes, but things just turned out to be shorter. There wasn't as much, unless... I'm not going to Atlantica. I'm just going to get all that over and done with with one episode. All that's just going to be one. Maybe. It shouldn't take that long. But in the next episode, we're going to be heading off into Pride Lands. But until the next video, take care.